Hello, star people. You're watching Earth Sky, and I'm Deborah Bird speaking to you live on July 3rd. Today, our planet Earth will reach a point farthest from the sun for all of 2025. It'll happen this afternoon, according to clocks in North America, just a few hours from now at 2.54 p.m. Central Daylight Time. That's 19.54 UTC, just to give a whole Earth time, which is appropriate because this is a whole Earth event. Our farthest point in orbit around the sun happens at the same moment for all of us. And as if to honor this event, the sun has just blasted out a pair of beautiful prominences. NOAA's GOES-19 satellite captured this image at around 4 UTC this morning. These are great ropes of solar material and magnetic fields arcing over the solar horizon. The one on the right is larger. We saw it on the sun yesterday too, but it finally erupted this morning. And at almost the same time, the smaller prominence billowed out on the left side of the sun's visible face. Both of these events blasted plumes of solar plasma into space, but none of this sun stuff is expected to make its way to Earth because both events seem to have happened on the far side of our star, the side we can't see from Earth right now. So Earth, farthest from the sun today, this farthest point in the Earth-Sun orbit comes in early July every year. It's called aphelion, from old Greek roots, meaning far and helios or sun. And meanwhile, our closest point is called perihelion. And of course, all of this is going on while our star is moving through the Milky Way galaxy on a grand orbit of its own. And why does our distance from the sun change? It's because objects in space don't have circular orbits. Each star and world and moon orbits in what's called an ellipse, like a circle that someone sat down on. But the Earth-Sun orbit isn't very elliptical. It doesn't change much, uh, just a little over 3% throughout the year. And that means that today, July 3rd, we're about 3 million miles farther than farther from the sun than we will be six months from now at our early January perihelion. And all of that is in contrast to our average distance from the sun of about 93 million miles. So it's just a little change. And that's how, although it's summer now in the Northern Hemisphere, we can be farthest from the sun today thinking that summertime means we're closest to the sun is a common misconception. So there you have the basics about Earth at aphelion, our farthest point from the sun today. And of course, you're never supposed to look at the sun, so we wanted to give you something to look at, uh, and that's tonight's moon. This is last night's moon from our dear friend and Earth Sky community member, Regini Chattervedi in New Jersey. Hello, Regini. Uh, long time no see. The moon was at last quarter last night, and that means, oh, wait, I'm sorry, first quarter. The moon was at first quarter last night, and that means it's a waxing moon. You'll find it larger in phase and brighter in your sky until full moon on, Janu on July 10th. Also, if you are watching this on July 3rd, know that tonight's moon will be very close to the star Spica. Some people say Spica in the constellation Virgo the Maiden. From some places, the moon, while pursuing its own monthly orbit around Earth, will blot Spica from view. That's called an occultation of a star by the moon. So if you look outside tonight and you don't see a bright star in the moon's glare, that's because Spica will be behind the moon. And one last thing to look for, there are now two planets in the evening sky. The closer of the two to the sunset is Mercury. 
and it reaches its greatest elongation, its farthest point from the sunset on our sky's dome this evening and tomorrow evening. So it's a great time to look for this most elusive of the bright planets as a bright point of light near the setting point on the horizon of the most distant sun of the year. And for today, that's our show. I'm Deborah Bird. We are here in midday on weekdays talking about the night sky or talking with scientists about the earth and outer space. But tomorrow is a big holiday for us in the U.S. And so we'll be back on Monday, July 7th. We hope to see you then. One Earth, one sky, Earth sky. <laughs>